Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we're trying to find the shortest distance between two parallel planes. So what does the general equation look like in this case? Well, it's a similar situation as if we're finding the point, the distance between a point in space and a plane, any point in space. But in this case, we don't know what that point is. So if we take two planes, we need one point on this plane, an arbitrary point on the other plane, to find the distance between the two, but then we don't know what that point is. And that's the big difference. So the approach is the same, except the point on the second plane is not known. So how do we get around that problem? Well, we can find any point on the second plane by doing a simple trick. What we're going to do is we're going to set two of the three variables, in this case y and z, equal to zero in the equation of the second plane. When we do that, then let's assume that this is the equation in the second plane, we set the y equal to zero, the z equal to zero, and all we have left is ax, and of course we'll call it sub two because I want to indicate that's the second plane, so a sub two times x plus d sub two equals zero, so x in that case will equal negative d two over a two. And so when we plug that into the coordinates for the point, we see we only have a value for the x coordinate, the y and the z coordinates will be zero, and this will now become our point in space. It happens to be on the other plane. And then we we'll go to the exact same procedure to find the distance between a point and a plane. Notice that this was the equation that we ended up with the last time. And now that y, the y sub naught and z sub naught are equal to zero, those two terms go to zero, and we're simply left with the numerator being ax sub naught plus d, and we divide that by the magnitude of the perpendicular vector, which is the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. And so that means that in this case, this will become a very simple exercise. But again, the general equation will be the same. We just need to find that point in space, which happens to be on that second plane, by setting two of the three variables equal to zero, in the equation of that second plane. Now it doesn't have to be y and z, it could be x and y or x and z. Two of the three will do, and then we'll, we'll be able to solve it in the exact same way. And that is how it's done.